Hey there, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can factory reset, also known as a hard reset, your Apple iPad Air M3. Let's go. Welcome back to the video. My name's Sergio, and in this channel, I make life-saving tech videos. So if you're new here, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell while you're down there. All right, with that said, uh, let's jump right in. So I'm gonna show you how to, I'm gonna show you two methods to do the factory reset. Uh, that is to erase everything on your Apple iPad Air M3 back to factory settings. So there's two ways to do it. One way of doing it is through the settings. And the other way of doing it is by connecting it to a computer uh, in case you have a password and you can't get into it. Or uh, maybe it's disabled from too many wrong password attempts. With the second method, you'll be able to hard reset it even if it's locked. All right, so first off, I'm gonna show you the first method, which is through the settings. So go ahead and find your settings. Here in settings, you're gonna go over here on the left-hand column to general, and then you're gonna scroll all the way down to where it says transfer or reset iPad. Okay, go ahead and select it. Here, you're gonna select erase all content and settings, the uh, lower option. Here, it's just gonna let you know that everything on the uh, drive will be erased. So remember, please back up uh, anything that you do want to keep if you're going to do this because everything will be erased. So make sure you are aware of that. Once you're ready, go ahead and hit erase iPad. Go ahead and enter your password. And once you do, the reset process will begin. All right, so now I'm going to show you the second way to, re to hard reset or factory reset your Apple iPad Air M3. So let's say that, uh, you know, you have a password and you forgot it. You can't get into it. Or uh, you've put in the password wrong too many times and it says iPad unavailable like this. And if you do this enough times, it's going to say unavailable for a very long time or indefinitely. Um, but no worries, we can reset that. Okay, all we're gonna have to do is the following. All right, so first thing you're gonna have to do is uh, you're gonna have to connect your iPad to your computer. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna be using a Mac to do it, but this does work on Windows as well. And I also have another video specifically showing you how to do it on Windows, although the process is very similar. All right, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, you're gonna connect it, like I said, connect it to your computer. After you connect it, you're gonna go ahead and press volume up, volume down, and then press and hold the power lock button until the iPad shuts off. Once it shuts off, you're gonna let go of the power lock button and you're gonna press and hold both volume down and the power lock button until the restore mode appears here on the screen. So volume up, volume down, power lock button, hold it until it shuts off. And then we're gonna release and press volume down and power lock button. Okay, so there you go. Now we're gonna go ahead and press it volume down and power lock button and just continue to hold it for a few seconds until you see this it's going to say support apple.com ipad restore okay and on your computer you should get this message right here uh, it's going to say a software update is required to connect your ios device let's go ahead and hit install so first thing it's going to do is it's going to download the software needed for the ipad so that's step one it may take <laughs> It'll probably take a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the speed of your internet connection. Okay, once it completes the download, it's gonna go ahead to this step, installing. Uh, now it says about a minute left. And there we go afterwards we're gonna get this message right here it says uh, there's a problem with the ipad ipad uh, that requires it to be updated or restored so here uh, you can select either one of the options either way it's going to update it to the latest uh, ios that it just downloaded so just hit either update or restore and then here once again it says your ipad can't be updated you will need to restore to its factory settings perfect so here just hit update here it's just gonna uh, allow you, ask you to confirm here, so hit next. Here is the terms and conditions, hit agree. And there we go. Uh, so, uh, so apparently once again here it says downloading iPad software update. So it says about seven minutes remaining. So we're gonna allow this bar to fully load all the way for it to download the 
software. All right, so after it finishes downloading the software, it goes over to this next step, which is extracting the software on the iPad. And as you can see, uh, now we have the Apple logo with this loading bar. So uh, we're gonna have another loading bar here on the iPad. We're gonna wait for this to complete. Um, something else that I do wanna mention is, if while the software is downloading on your computer, since that can take a long time, your iPad um, like shuts off and gets out of restore mode, all you have to do is repeat the process and put it back into restore mode so that it can continue the process after the software is downloaded. All right, so now we're updating iPad firmware. Okay, now it is on the next step, updating iPad software. All right, so now it is verifying update iPad software. So almost done with the entire process. All right, so here we go. Um, it is finally done over here and uh, we got this message on the computer. It says your iPad has been updated and is restarting. So once you see that, you're good to go. The reset process is pretty much done. Um, we just gotta wait now a few more seconds for it to completely load up. I think it's gonna have one more loading bar. So we'll wait for that to finish and then it should boot up uh, at the initial setup. And it's still asking for the password, okay? so. If it does this and it's still asking for the password, all we're gonna do is repeat the process one more time. So volume up, volume down, press and hold the power lock button until it shuts off. Then release and press and hold volume down and the power lock button until restore mode. Okay, then you can release. And we're gonna repeat the restore process one more time. Okay, here we're gonna hit restore, restore and update. Since it already downloaded the software, it will be a little bit faster this time. Um, so we'll just wait around for the process to complete one more time. All right, so it looks like it is done restoring. Now we just gotta wait for this loading bar here to finish and the process will be complete. And there we have it guys. It has been restored now back to its original factory condition. Now all we gotta do is set it up here, follow all of the steps here to get it set up and start using your iPad normally again. So that is how you completely factory restore and hard reset your Apple iPad Air M3. Go ahead and destroy the like button if this video helped you. And comment down below and let me know if it did. That's all for this video. I'll catch you in the next one. As always, peace.